All right, what is going? Whoa, does that sound weird on my, on anyone else's end? Sorry, mm-hmm. sorry about that. Um, uh, all right, give me like a back and in, Craig. Give me a back and in. Give me a back and in, so I, I can get a good. Funny. I, I, I don't know what just happened. As soon as you turn on the volume, my like. I think we do like, it live. We do it live. We do fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. My my computer is it's on the fritz. Things are falling good, apart. Our pets' heads Charlotte are falling got, off. Good Charlotte got you in your feels. Good Charlotte just just worked me a little bit. Anyways, what's going on, besties? Welcome to this week's episode of Pillows and Beer. Craig is in the Hall Wine Studio. I am at my house. Um, it's 7 30 p.m. We never timestamp it, Craig, but I want people to know maybe that you know we like finished up our days. You and I are in our respective homes. Paige is downstairs at yours. I don't know if you've made dinner yet. I have dinner on the on like ready to go once we finish here. Drinking a cup of tea. What are you drinking? Well, special shout out to Larry Bravo by Gaze on Instagram. Oh. Look at what this MFR found for me and sent me. He My sent friend. you. He sent you a a, a thing pump, of pumpkin. Pumpkin nitro and a bunch of pumpkin ales he found and was like, "Isn't this what you love?" And so, in honor of him, I am drinking on tonight's podcast. I love that, Craig. Drink. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that, like, I'm dry, <clears throat> but just on evenings that I don't, you know, I mean, I'm on my third cup of tea, Craig. That's how bored I am. Why would you say dry? Because in Jan- January, that's stupid. Look, you're going to go to someone's wedding and not drink it. <clears throat> like, that's insane. Like, it's a selfish thing to do. There, You can cut I back. didn't. I but, didn't. What is wrong with you? Why? Dry what, January. I just think. It's why so- would you cut it? I, I, I think it's fucking silly, too. Oh, okay, I, I I didn't say that I was dry. Why are you jumping down my throat? Yeah, because you said, said I'm not. <laughs> no, I just the word. I'm not saying dry. that I'm dry, but like it's a damp January for me. So like yeah, I'm drinking true. a little bit, but like on a on a Wednesday night when I'm at home alone, there's no reason for me to drink. So I'm just not drinking. So our um our universe has been you know is is flipped back into the not. I don't even know how to describe it. We, we need a word for this other universe because I will say you asked about dinner. Well, we both are very busy recently um, for whatever reason that may be. And our schedules are getting turned upside people down. People know, Craig. That's why I'm literally doing it in a way that we're allowed to say. Like, people I are- like can tell that you're doing it in a way. And I think it's silly, but <laughs> that's fine. okay. Fine. One rule. Yeah. So it doesn't then get f- cut. Then then cut it, Craig. You already tried to cut another thing about, you know, try January. Then Then just cut it. Wait, what? 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 Cut anything from dry January. I, I thought that you said, no, let's cut that. Yeah, Anyways. cut dry January. Yeah, cut dry right. January out. Out, yeah. of, out of the world. No, out oh, of- out of the world. <laughs> Even out of the podcast. It's like, I don't I don't get that. See, I'm not drinking and I'm on edge. Uh, you're on <laughs> edge for the same reason that I was saying why our schedules are flipped upside down. So, yeah. yes, what I'm saying is that <sighs> I'm not cooking tonight. I actually have five loaves um waiting downstairs for me what did you get what you what'd you get from five loaves they have a uh they have like a kale salad or something with like fucking tortellini on it it's so good uh the caesar salad does i got i got their thai coconut hot pot with chicken in it Paige got chicken marcella i got caesar salad mexican chicken soup broccoli Mm. cheddar soup and a coconut cake nice yeah, I've been doing well. I realized how much money that I spent on Uber Eats and the other things over the last year. And I've become like very aware of my finances by like sitting down and paying attention to it. And it actually makes you sick, but you just got to be like, whatever. It was a fun year, but now like <laughs> you don't need to be doing that. Like, you know, once you sit down, you become conscious of it. It it certainly is like a sickeningly large number, right? We're kind of, you're sitting there, and every day you kind of justify, you're like, okay, fine. You know, 26 yeah, bucks to, you know, deliver this thing. And then you think about it and then you're like, if I actually went to pick it up, I could literally get out of there, you know, 15 bucks, right? But then you deliver it, it's 26 bucks. But then you multiply that by five, which is probably how many times a week that I was delivering just because of like a hectic and crazy, you know, in and out of town. Yeah, that that freaking adds up. And and then on my Uber Eats too, Craig, I don't know about you, but 
but I get all sorts of like, you know, congratulations, you know, you're in the top five, five percent of customers for so-and-so business. And I'm like, Oh, Jesus. Well, that's a unique way to look at it. Like the decision for me has never been if I was actually going to go pick it up to save money. It's like, should I eat something in my house? No, right, right, right. And and that's my point, right? Like, I don't think that I'm going to go and pick it up. Like, that's not going to happen. I, oh, I yeah. order Uber Eats for the convenience of it being dropped off right at my doorstep, right? Which is why most people eat it. It definitely, and, uh, definitely adds up. And it really, it's not... But if you pick it up, it's way better. I'll tell you that. Like, they, they haven't mastered the science of delivering the food correctly. They people no, have- certainly dependent yeah. on 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 what you order, right? It's like don't order anything with like too much oil or vinegar on it or anything like that, right? Because it'll it'll show up like a soggy mess. I think. Uh, speaking about cutting <laughs> uh, money, I finally found where your subscriptions are on your iPhone. I have never been able to find it. And recently I've been seeing like a ton of Apple charges on this credit card. I don't use that much. And finally I went in and the other night I canceled probably 20 subscriptions that I didn't realize I had. Uh, Actually I was following rocket money's like advice, but doing it on my own. And it's kind of sickening how much money that I saved. Um, Do you know how to get there Austin? No, tell me. So you go and you'll be like, I don't even know what company that is. Why do I pay him $33 a month? You know? No. Okay, Um, go. So you click on your name in settings. Okay. So like where you would go for Apple ID and then click on subscriptions. It's the fourth one down and just like give it a little bit of a scroll and you'll be like, what? Because I've been also trying to change like my Hulu subscription to no commercials. And this is where you would do it at. Um, but yeah, give that motherfucker a scroll. Sorry, buddy. Mine's 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 pretty good. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Nick, how's your book? I don't have anything um, except for QuickBooks. You know, QuickBooks Online, which I which I spend you know thirty bucks a month on. But it's oh, I'm talking about it. Oh yeah. So Nick's is up there. I was like feeling a little silly. Um, everyone out. I mean, Austin, you've always been way more. Um, I would say fiscally responsible than me well and you're not well, even tight. you're just like there are some things that you are like no i'm not just gonna spend my money on that yeah yeah i mean i feel that way um and then sometimes kind of like you said in the past year like i mean uber eats man like i bet that if the app tracks which you know it does but i'm not going to go through and you know add up my orders but i bet that if i saw it i'd be sick to my stomach like i probably spent you know Twenty thousand dollars on you know greets last year. Is that is that like a normal number? Would you say, or is that uh, or is that higher or lower than what you think? Because I know that that when you're in New York, you know, you always tell me you're like me and Paige just ordered like you know the entire restaurant. Yeah, no, mine mine was. I, <clears throat> yeah, like, okay. I will tell. So I never told you this. One year, <clears throat> one time, we were sitting at a Uptown Social, probably four or five years ago, mm-hmm. and you were having like a fit. I mean, not too dramatic, but you were just like panicked about money. And you actually told me what was in your savings account or like your checking account at the time. And I had, I will tell you that it was 12 times more than what I had in my checking account at the time. Like I had like a couple grand that I was like, all right, like I'm going to figure out like this, 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 and this. And you were like, kind of close to like like you were up there i don't want to like talk money and you you made me be like oh f- like like i wanted to be like dude you're fine but then i was like but am i fine I, it was just funny and i was like i think he's a lot more responsible with money wait 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 I, i'm like super curious now <clears throat> so if you don't mind how many me, years ago did you say it was like five years ago and you okay. were you were you know you were north you were above 50 grand and you were feeling real guilty about something and I think I had five grand in my bank account. And, I was like, <laughs> and you were just like, I just hate myself, Craig. I just hate myself. I could be doing so. And I'm like, in my head, I was like, yeah, yeah. Or no, to you, I was like, dude, I'm pretty sure you're doing okay. And I, I never <laughs> told you, but. Uh, I don't, I, I like wonder what I was having like a fit about. You, um, had, you had got like, your mom had been like, you should, like you <clears> were <throat> just sent some money into your like investor, you know, investment banking or like your mom. 
and you were like, I wonder if I'm going to have enough money for taxes or like something. And then in my head, <laughs> <laughs> that's so fiscally responsible. I mean, Craig, you're making me sound so fiscally responsible. Um, you are, you remind I mean, my brother a lot because he's, he's like, if Christopher goes on vacation with a group of people, we'll plan it, but he makes sure he gets his money. He's like, no, it's like $400 a person. Like I booked everything and he makes sure everyone pays them. And like, if I, and I'm way better about it now, but in the past, like if I would have booked it, like I was probably collecting, I was only collecting from the people that were like, Hey man, I'm, I sent you the money. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me for the record, just state that I've gotten away with not paying you and Shep before because you guys just like do 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 just keep it moving trip. the one aspen trip you never paid me for but i was i it was it was you fun. know what craig i'll, I'll pay you for it. it no no it was i think it was like your <laughs> second seat like it, it was fine it was fine but like that was the gift and we've never talked about it but now we just called in like that was three yeah. years ago that was that was three years ago and actually i think if you know that it was the first season where I began to like actually make, you know, some coin. And so we were like, Craig, let's freaking go. And earlier that year, you and I had gone to New Orleans because we were like, let's just go. Let's just get out of here. And you're like, I'm down. Let's go. And then you were dead set on going to Aspen because you had, you had, um, you know, said that it was like the greatest trip of your life and that you wanted to go back. And we went to Aspen for like, eight or nine days and yeah we got this two bedroom spot and all in all probably spent like five grand on it or like yeah, a little less actually, maybe yeah we did we did okay like for five, for five grand for the for a two bedroom two bath like right on the main strip in aspen like isn't crazy like we were it was you know right in downtown aspen literally like like new year's week and i just didn't have it in me to ever but it was it was funny, but that's the only time that was like the only time that it's ever, but it's okay. Yeah. It was just okay. like a funny, like gift. So maybe I hope we, that Shep isn't listening to this because I, uh, because in Australia, right. He was like, well, wait, like I want to put this on my credit card for points, you know, let's just figure it out later. And he put a <laughs> hotel room on it for three nights and he puts something else on it. And if I'm being honest, I probably owe Shep like, like, <laughs> and I just don't know if he's going to bring it up. Or it was I like don't. bookies. Like, I feel like we'd have to hit the five number to be like, all right, dude, like you got to send me some money. Wait, did you stay in the same room or he no, just, no, 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 no. He, he was just like, Hey, I'm booking a room now. And like, uh, I'm just going to get yours and put it on my credit card. And you just get me later. I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. Great. Get me later. Then. <laughs> like, and I won't say that it's your fault. Like some people out there would be like, you need to make an effort to give it to him. But I'd be like, no, like if you don't have the sack to be like, Hey man, send me that uh, money. Half the time it's my fault for not having like Venmo, but um, travel wise, speaking of travel, I thank God I flew back last night because there was a big ground hold, like a national ground hold today. Did you see that? I uh, did. I did. Um, I didn't really look much into it and I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious now that you're bringing it up. Right. But, but I just saw that a bevy of flights were canceled. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what I think happened. Okay. So they said it was a computer malfunction, right? Computer glitch. Do you know how many sail face fail safes are in place <laughs> on infrastructure computer systems that run the the airlines, like the air traffic in America, like the computers don't just shut down, right? So my original theory was it was a massive cyber attack, which which unfortunately, you know, is very possible. And obviously they're not going to tell us what happened. They're going to be like, so we grounded all the flights because of this um, computer glitch. But what I think happened was I think we spoiled... I think of the possibility is we spoiled a huge attack or an attack that was planned and some agent out there called in like, I mean, I, I watch a lot of TV, but he called in like a ground stop and was like, guys, you have to ground, like you have to hold all the planes in like on the ground right now because something's going on and they fucking held all the planes. Like that's very possible. Would you not say? I'm I'm actually curious to hear what Nick thinks about this because this is like where Nick comes into play with uh 
like with that. like yes. Well, I honestly think that it's. I just think it's a really outdated system, and it's classic bureaucracy at work with our government being thirty freaking years behind the times, and the and it just is an old system. And it just failed, quite frankly, which is even, I think, is worse than defending from a cyber attack. Okay, so fair, but also my two scenarios would have had the exact same press release, correct? Correct. Yeah, like if if that if either of the two things that I said happened today, they would have still said. Unless it was like Russia or something and, you know, trying to go against them. No, I like I, I like it. how you just said correct, Craig, and then Nick said, you know, correct, and now it's just law. You're like, right? And Nick's <laughs> like, correct. And you both just think that what you said was Here's completely what factual. Whatever agent saved the world today, we will never know about. And this mission or this op or whatever happened probably will never be declassified. Well, it was this, it's just some little nerd at his computer that saved the world. It wasn't an actual a- agent that we see in the movies. Well, I, okay, so you say our computer systems are 30 days out of date. I agree, but I think once you install a system, it already needs maintenance done, and there's just no yeah. way that the the air traffic people... Shit crashes, happen. though. I mean, it happens, like, where you'll just the have... The whole system, the whole fucking that's system. That's all that it takes. Happens. If you talk to, like, a computer guy, they'll say, yes, If there, it's like a video game. If there's a bug in the video game that happens from an update it shuts it screws the whole game up yeah but that bug could have been placed by someone but i mean it could have. multiple <laughs> backups like a computer system doesn't just turn off now it doesn't not at the federal level well and that's what i'm gonna disagree with because i think our government the bureaucracy of our government is so stupid like the I fact mean, that the dmv doesn't know that i'm i've registered to vote in my state and they make you register it's like how do you not know that you know, one time, um, Austin just got up, uh, you know, one time I went to vote and they told me I had already voted and I was like, this shit is so whack. Like, they're like, no, like you legitimately already voted. And I was like, but I haven't, like, I'm standing right here in front of you. And you're like, well, we have a vote, vote in the system. Here's the more crazy part. They then go, okay, hold on. We'll just delete this vote and we'll have you do it again. Like the little poll worker right there. And I was like, so you can just erase votes. And they were like, yeah, 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 just give us a second. And then they erased that vote. And then I went and voted again. And I was like, this is crazy. That is crazy, by the well, way. Because I was saying, uh, Austin, that someone, I went to vote and they were like, you've already voted. Yeah. I like, well, I haven't. And they're like, well, we have a vote in here for you. And they were like, hold on one second. Let us just erase this vote and you can go do it again. And I was like, ah. boy, that actually happened to you? Yeah, in Old Village. So this would have been. You went into vote. And they were like, you've already voted. And you said, no, I haven't. And 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 this wasn't like, like you didn't come back wearing like a mustache or something, trying to vote <laughs> twice, you crazy animal. No, this so would like, like two, like three elections, whatever. When I lived in Old Village, went 2015. So eight years ago, uh, I went in and I was like, I'm Craig Conover, had my ID out. And they're like, well, you don't need that at the time, which I also think like not political. I guess it's a political like fight, but I was like, I, I just always assumed you needed your ID to vote, like <clears throat> not being read into. You do. No, well, you it depends on where you are. Yeah, it depends on the state. This is the whole thing. We don't yeah, need to go down whole, that. Yeah, we're okay. not okay. the okay. whole thing. So they were like, well, we already, we have you in the system as voted. And I was like, well, I haven't voted yet. And like, it wasn't an argument. They were just like, okay, hold on. Let us like reset this vote then and you can go vote. And so in my yeah. head, I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, luckily Virginia, you have to, they'll just give you like a provisional ballot and you'll vote twice, but they got to count it up and like, you know, make sure it's real. Look, no matter what side you're on, the voting, because electronics have been uh, like, now it's involved. I mean, it probably was never that great, like with people like the hanging chat and people vote, like counting stuff, but the integrity of like, Oh, please. They used to pay off like all the big companies used to pay off the voters so they wouldn't unionize and stuff like that. They literally right. would just pay the vote counters to say, don't count X amount of votes. <laughs> OK, OK. I'm done with both of you and I'm done with this topic. We went to voting. Then we got Nick involved. Where are you going to take, us? Then we take got us? Nick involved? Oh, he let him go on his little rant about TCU. <laughs> oh, is that where he's that going? I'm sure he has. <laughs> Nick, that we found another shut Earth. the front door. <laughs> And go back to UVA, Virginia, like to your little 
basketball. Wait, did you go to the basketball game last night? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Know, I don't fun. care. No one cares. Okay. <laughs> we all care th- about the injustice of Alabama. Not being the whole Georgia the game. Ball playoff. <laughs> the no. whole Georgia game. I was getting my hair cut and I was like, I'm going to make so much money. Like I finally bet on something. And like the whole time I talked about how I was like, Paige, we're going to go to a nice dinner after this. So Georgia like wins by, you know, a ton, which I'm still confused as a non collegiate football person. Why, how that was a championship. I, I don't understand how it was a blowout. Craig, I think that all of us are uh, a little confused on that. Was, and we all want to where TCU was. No, no well, Alabama. Yes. Lost. yes it's it's yes. a whole thing. Oh, yes. well, that would have been a better game. However, I, yeah. I didn't put my bets in right. So I made $50. <laughs> and I, thought I was going to make 500. But you're like, baby, I'm taking you to dinner tonight. And yeah. Then... I was like, actually, we're going to order from McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna... Um. Well, I. Okay. All right. Well, since we're talking about it, I don't, I don't want to deep dive, <clears throat> but I do want to clarify something. Right. So when I was in New York, uh, before going to Australia, uh, and they announced the top four. Um, I don't know if you saw my rant, Nick, but clearly you did. Uh, what I was saying was that, so... What do you mean Craig, by top four? <laughs> Explain, actually, for people, so well... The four teams like, make the playoffs in college. Yeah. All right, Nick, you're Nick, on mute. Was Georgia I'm one of kidding. them? I'm kidding. Was TCU and Georgia one of them? Yes. Yes. Oh, so there's two semifinal games. There's yes. Correct. <laughs> on New Year's Eve. So who else played? Uh, Michigan and so Michigan and TCU first, and Georgia and Ohio State. And now here's here's Wait, what happened. The championship, what we just watched. Yes, the main championship. Greg, there's only one championship, pal. And yes, you witnessed an embarrassing, awful. Oh yeah, like, something they're doing is big, wrong because that big, doesn't work. Big Twelve showing. So like, I'm used to Alabama, Clemson, like when you were in the Bahamas, and it was like a really crazy game. So well, that's going to be they get they're fixing it in a couple of years and they make it twelve teams. So um, Alabama, did you guys just fuck up? Yeah, <clears throat> and, and they so, lost twice. And so Nick, where was your team? Shut the hell up. Who's and next? Uh, exactly? I'm a big <laughs> Iowa fan. Big Iowa football. Yeah, Don't yeah, even. Yeah. What word are you saying? Iowa. Uh, Iowa. <laughs> oh, Ohio. Oh, Iowa. Why, how are you an Iowa fan? My mom went there. My, her, my uncle went there. My aunt went there. You know, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't. Is Iowa the belly in the baker, like with the Mississippi <laughs> River? You know how there's like a, a baker man in the middle of our Yeah, country? yeah. And and he's holding, you know, the fried chicken, which is Kentucky. Gotcha. And the belly is Iowa. So listen to this, Craig. Uh, Alabama stole I was like the most highly ever recruited player and we just snagged him and he flipped and committed to us. So suck it, Nick, while I talk about the injustice of the college football playoff. So, so no real committing because I see that all the time that people flip and say, so yeah, like, not until you sign. They got to get rid of that sign. word. It's so stupid. It just has to be signing day is it. Get rid of the yeah, dumb commitment process. All the time and there's no penalties. So yeah, man. Committing is for the birds. <laughs> okay. But we're getting too much into sports and the minutia. People that listen to this podcast probably don't want to hear it, but there are enough people that I'm sure are interested in the top four, at least the playoffs. There's plenty of college football fans out there. I've gotten so many DMs as of you, Nick, and as of you, Craig. So this is pertinent to say. So TCU loses. <clears throat> they were previously ranked three. They lose. The new rankings fucking come out. They're still ranked three. So they didn't drop four. So the first game, in my opinion, should have been Georgia and TCU. And then Georgia just would have spanked their little asses and sent them on their way. And then we could have had an actual decent national championship game. And then that means that Michigan and Ohio State would have had a rematch. Now, the college football playoff clearly did not want to subject everyone to a rematch of that game that was just played at the end of the regular season. So I think that it was all collusion because it should have been Georgia and TCU as the first game. Georgia would have smacked them. And then Michigan, Ohio State, and let the chips fall where they may because the Georgia-Ohio State game was like a thriller on New Year's Eve. I mean, I was watching it at my dinner table. It it, it was awesome. Okay, let's do final thoughts, Austin, because then we'll go to commercial. Yeah, the, then, I, then we'll go to commercial, but I do want to parlay this into something else college-related. 
And that's last week, Craig, you cracked me up about, about uh, college bars. So I've done some research because I got a bunch of DMs on people's love for college bars in their, in their, in their towns. And I think, I think that we jumped it. but final thoughts, final thoughts. I mean, final thoughts, Georgia just freaking re like they repeated. I didn't want it to happen. I don't think it's any secret. Uh, I don't want anyone to creep up on, you know, Bama's legacy. Um, I would have loved to have been in the playoff, but Georgia just proved that they were the best team in the country by a mile. And hopefully we fix this effing college football playoff because Big 12, as as I said in my first rant, inferior conference. Dude, if you got me into college football and I was like into it all year and then this happened, I would have been so angry. Exactly. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We love you, best friends, and we miss you. <laughs> Be right back. We miss a new year is full of possibilities, but when your e-commerce business is dealing with gift returns, late deliveries, and a mountain of customer emails, you can feel stuck. ShipStation helps you get there faster, whether you run a side hustle or a giant warehouse. Keep customers happy and fulfill more orders than ever, all while cutting shipping costs and managing it all from a single dashboard. And their best rates in the industry just got even better with up to 86% off USPS and UPS rates. It's not even a question of if you should switch to ShipStation, but why you haven't already. ShipStation changed my life and Austin knows this. Uh, I started in e-commerce, but not without ShipStation. You know, I was stuck in my dining room, my sewing room, sewing pillows, a ton of messages on Instagram, and I didn't know how to get the product to my customers. And then I found ShipStation and it really did. I mean, it, ShipStation's as much a part of sewing down the South story as I am really. And so to use them and to save the amount of money I did, I was able to charge the appropriate price for my product. Um, it helps get your margins down and I mean, we still use them, which is incredible. So I know Austin ShipStation really helps you with your merchandise. And I really think that it really, really helps you start a company. And then what you'll find is even if you've never, you'll always use it. But for people that have companies now, you can save so much money and so much time using ShipStation. Absolutely. And with the best discounts in the industry, you'll never wonder if you're getting the best rates. Get up to 86% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. And 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Make the new year your best year and grow your business with ShipStation. Use promo code Pillows and Beer today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code Pillows and Beer. Please welcome back to this episode of Pillows and Beer. I'm here in the Hall Wine Studio, joined by my bestie, my number one bestie. Oh, we'd be the top of the bestie pyramid chain. Anyway, pyramid chain isn't a thing. I'm also... So, well, I did up here. Enough about me. I'm here with Austin Kroll. And <laughs> Nick Norris is here too. Um, wow. Enough, enough about me. What What do you guys think about me? Um, I feel that that segment kind of had to be done. I just had like, you know, we all had some thoughts. Nick wanted to weigh in clearly. Um, and, uh, and moving on, moving on to... Uh, Craig, do you remember the name of the bar that you said to me last week? No, but I hope you wrote it down. Gnarly Jacks. Gnarly Jacks. Yeah, that's a, that was just in my head. Sometimes, really? Really? Yeah. I totally thought that you're about to tell me that that's like a, like a popular bar at University of Delaware. No, what? Didn't I just make it up? I mean, that's kind of what I thought, but 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 then but, I was, but then a- later when I was thinking about it, I was like. Craig didn't just make that shit up because that bar name is awesome. And like, we yeah, should maybe, name. we should maybe call our bar that. If we started we a bar, bar in the Bahamas, like if I would have stayed down there, we could have named it gnarly Jacks and people be like, who's Jack. And every time we tell the story, it's just different. <laughs> then see, he just falls into this character. See, that's actually funny because if you go out to the sanctuary on Kiowa, 
<clears throat> which is a beautiful five-star um, resort out on Kiwa for those listening. Uh, there is this huge hall, right? And and there's like a sitting room and then like a main room with, with um, a pianist and then there's the bar. Anyways, in the one sitting room, there is a lady of the manor, okay? And then in the bar area, which is like a hundred yards away, there is a um uh, uh, a a gentleman of the manor and and you think that it's this like big elaborate fucking backstory but in reality they they just found these paintings of these random people and put it up and now that's just what it is that's so, like because i've been to bars before where i'm like who the fuck is that guy and they're like yeah who? and and it probably <laughs> is nobody exactly yeah. the only Which one is is- like kind of genius where we're, when we go to Keynes, the naked woman on the wall, they're like, oh, that bitch used to roll shit here. Um, Nick, did you recently go to a college bar? Why? Nick has a big black X on his head. Oh, I did. After, at I, Wednesday, <laughs> and I don't know, or Nick's ID got turned down at a college bar. <laughs> no. Nick, tell they, us. They X yeah, your, no, yeah, I went uh, after story, the game. I will tell you that I have not let anyone draw anything on the top of my hand in seven years. If they're going to draw on me, I turn my hand over and let them do it on my wrist. So please explain, Nick. Wait, why on your wrist? That's worse for you. Because they I don't have a big black X on the back. Yeah, of but it, it, you're, not, you're not supposed to like draw over your veins because they can like seep in. Oh, well, maybe I'm addicted to markers. I don't know. <laughs> okay, tell us <laughs> your story. I know we were at the UVA UNC basketball game last night and my cousin and I were out and he went to UVA, but he's closer to y'all's age. He's 33. And I don't think remember the last time that he'd been out and he was like, do you want to just like go hit the corners, what they call like the bar scene at UVA. And so UVA won. What's and, it called? Sorry, sorry. What's it called? Hitting the corner. Yeah. I like oh, the corner is like where all the bars are. Yeah. <laughs> Write that on our list of bar names because so, I Austin, if we do open a bar, I'm going to probably fight for gnarly jacks for a little bit, but gnarly jacks is a pretty good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty damn good name. It'll be a pirate bar and gnarly Jack was, and an awesome pirate. And I just want people, yeah, I, w- I want people to ask the bartenders, like, what does Gnarly Jacks mean? Not, and, and like, you know, who is Jack? And we have to, like, make up something. Well, we were related, and he was our great, 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 great grandfather. Or just. Yeah, and then they're like, both of them? And you're like, yep. Nick, is your cousin a seven? <clears throat> I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Oh, he seven? wouldn't know if he was. People listening. If you know anything about the sevens, please DM me on Instagram and I will respond. It's the Wait, most, what's the seven? The seven? The most exclusive secret society in the country. I thought uh, that was the skulls, bro. No, it's out of UVA and you don't find out someone's a seven until they die and they- Well, how the hell am I supposed to know? Listen, they put a black, they put a seven out of black roses on their grave. Oh, yeah. And then, and the CIA recruits from the sevens heavily. So we get a lot of hate DMs for not knowing that from being I mean, also. They're oh. quite there quite literally was a movie with Paul Walker. And didn't they go to Harvard or was it Stanford or was it I don't know, but the if, skulls. If you Google the sevens, you cannot find anything on it except people that have died that ended up being sevens. But okay, Nick, let's see if you can oh. keep up with talking over us right now. Okay, tell us your story and why you have the X. Because I still don't know. You're over 21, so why do you have an X on your hand? Because they X your hand. I don't actually. That's a good question. If they X my hand once I got in, I would say if I owned a bar and I was worried about underage drinking, no, you can't X someone's hand because then someone would just bring a marker in. Correct. Did you ever put chapstick on your hand so when they X it, you could wash it off? Never. Anyone, I, had I do not pretty... condone underage drinking. <laughs> yeah, here are the tips not... and tricks to get around it. Marker does not stick the chapstick. I mean, I know girls who would buy like <laughs> all of like the wristbands off the internet That's and smart. then they would just keep them in their purse and they just pull out the correct color and wear it in. That's I have a... <laughs> See, I had a pretty good fake. And the summer going into my junior year is when I actually turned 21. So I only had to survive freshman and sophomore year and freshman year i just lived at the fraternity house you know i was like oh man all the free booze and everything here you know all the girls are here whatever <clears throat> sophomore year is when hey, i tried really? see yeah. the problem with college of charleston when i was here because i know yeah was- it's all bars yes yeah, so it. after 10 o'clock if you were still at a house it meant you were the only kid in town without a fake yeah because, and a lot of times i remember my buddy mince being like 
Why are we leaving this house? We have everything we want. Everyone's here. Why are we just going to the bars? Because we're supposed to. And yes, Charleston was definitely a bar college. Bars are fun. Um, okay, Craig, what is your like your quintessential college bar from College of Charleston? And then I'll tell you mine. And Nick, you can tell me yours from Iowa or Charlottesville or whatever fucking. I went to Craig, the same blame. college as Craig's brother. <laughs> mine is oh, I know Nick's. Mine is the silver dollar. And okay. it's yeah. and my and my <clears throat> something that is my personal like pride, which I do actually tell people, but it's is my I I have a picture on the wall. So there's 12 photos on the wall and I'm in one of them. And that was my my and and so we called it the dollar. And yeah. now my employees at the store call it silver. And I'm like, what the fuck is silver? And they're like, silver dollar. And I'm like, it's not called silver. It's called the dollar. And they're like, you're not in charge anymore, Craig. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I, I, know. I think that's a little uh, outrageous that it can go from the dollar to someone saying, let's go to silvers. And for all those listening, if you come into town and you go past the silver dollar, it quite literally is very young, but the, I like, do want to give some of my absolute drunkest nights in Charleston have, have been from when Craig dragging me in there. And I'm like, what am I going to do here? And all of a sudden I've taken freaking 10 shots in like 10 minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, like behind the bar. What? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, behind the bar, you know, pouring drinks, like yeah. what is going like, on I'm right now? Sure the bartender just took a break and I'm here. I will. I let's let just for, since we're on here, I would say beer works was, um, <clears throat> A close second and you can actually that's where i send people to get austin's beer both of these places are across from my store yeah. which is kind of funny that i now have a store across from them um and then uh honorable mention is midtown which is now dispensary and johnson's which is no longer there but those are my college um name. midtown is the second or it might be the first trunkist that i've ever been in charleston was midtown which is no longer a bar but goodness wow. you were at midtown yeah, dude, I didn't mean to go, but but you remember my old roommate Dan on Spring Street? He he took me in and I'd never really been in before because it it's a serious freaking college bar. And that night, Craig, he woke me up. I was naked in his bed, right? Because like it was like I had to go home because I was hammered and like he continued to go out. And he woke me up and I was like, what are you doing? And that like, you know, got all mad at him. And I was like, what are you doing, man? Get out of my room. He was like, you're in my bed. And so I like got up, I took his blanket, you know, with me and went into my room. And <laughs> the next day he was like, do you remember any of that? And I'm like, yeah, you came into my room. And it was really annoying. He was like, look at the blanket that you, know, you had. Did you pee like, yourself? Whoa. I don't think so. But this was definitely 2015. So okay, so, dude, well good. okay, so to close out, okay, so Midtown my, was a legendary. You know, yeah. So to close out bar. my <clears throat> college bar thing, and then we'll go to you guys. Is I will say, <laughs> you and like I say. will make fun of like the guy that, like, he'll never be cooler than like he was in high school. But I have chased the feeling that I used to have in the dollar forever, and we've done some cool stuff from you know, our, our, you know, TV careers now, like we've been on some, we've done some cool stuff, but being, <laughs> this is lame, but I'm admitting it being like the man at your college bar where like you just, you, your buddies were bartending. The owner allowed you to do whatever you want. You just felt cool. Like I, and maybe it was because it was the first time I felt cool in my life, but that was one of my happiest like memories is I I've never felt more cool than I did at my college bar. And that is the story of Craig quite literally chasing the dragon to try to relive his glory days. And that's why, I mean, I have fought him before, you know, tooth and nail, like, no, Craig, we're not going to the dollar. And he's like, yes, we are. It's going to be, you know, and then oh, all of a sudden I'm at the dollar and I'm like, oh my God. Oh. You don't want to be that guy because I, we had a guy in college that would still come in and he was probably five years younger than we are. Um, I mean, now right, it's, but, but like, like, we, like now it's a safe, honest. it's a safe place for us if, if for a respite. If we if we need it, we'll go there just because we know no one cares who we are there. I mean, if <laughs> I was in Tuscaloosa, which where the University of Alabama is, 
it it would be very very hard for me craig like if i lived in yeah, where would you Lusa, me, no but if i visited you we went to a game like where would you ha- you'd be like dude i know it's a college bar but i'm taking you here yeah yeah we uh, would for sure go to innisfree which is um an irish bar how do you spell uh, that what i n n i s f r e e innisfree wow, that's a wild bar name and it is quite popular. I, I've been tossed out of that bar a few times. Um, most <laughs> most recently when I was, so let's see, I graduated 2010. I went back to the Florida Alabama game in 2014. And that's my first time back. And I went back with like all my college buds, right? There's a huge crew of us. And I didn't get tickets to the game. So I was like, perfect. We already have this table here. And I'm like feeling it, Craig, like, it like it is good, you know. Kickoff was at noon, so we got an early start. I'm not drunk, right? I'm not drunk, like I'm just like you know, Rico Suave. Like I would have walked up to like, you know, a Victoria's Secret model and been like, "Hey, what's your name?" You know, I was just feeling it. I was just feeling it. So Shep, you're you were you were Shep. <laughs> No, 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 because I was zero, zero coherent turn. because I was coherent and I could speak. Um, <laughs> I I was feeling it, you know, just like self yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the self-confidence level, the perfect amount is like, you know, three beers and like two shots, and you're like, woohoo, let's go. Okay, so it's probably a little more of that. Anyways, the next thing I know, so me and my buddy are talking to this table of girls. And we get bear hugged from behind by these two bouncers and they just like throw us out. And we're like, what did we do? And no one would answer us. You know, bouncers are like, I don't know, man. I don't know. man. someone wanted you out. And so I tossed you out. Oh, you're I like, hate that. Cause you're like, I'm like, supposed to be the guy that's making those calls. Yeah. 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 And I was just like, what, what? And you know, no one would answer us. Right. Because you know, they're like, look, man, you know, I'm just paid to be here. Now get the fuck out. And we're like, you know, it's like 12, 45 at this point, Craig. And, and and we're just like, fuck that. So so we walked down to another bar on the strip called Galette's. And Galette's was when I went there, it's like it's since been renovated. So Galette's G-A-L-L-E-T-T-E-S or G-A-L. I, I don't know. Um, but do these mirror your college bar or you're gonna get to where you went in college? That's my college bars. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. It it is free. That. And yeah. yeah, of course. I mean, I'm back in my college town. You're damn right. I'm going back to my college bars. And so uh, we go to Galette's and Galette's just like used to be this like kind of dingy, like low down, like in the back, there was a stage where you could, uh, where bands played and, and, and anyways, on big nights, it was huge, but the best nights, the best nights at that bar, Galette's, were like a Tuesday night or like a Wednesday night when it, when it wasn't crazy crowded and you could kind of hang out at the front bar and there was always like a crowd and you could maybe grab like a pool table. There's like 30, 40 kids in there. And those were like my fondest memories of drinking at my college bar in college. Like, so Innisfree and Galette's, those are my top two. That's I would say from Tuscaloosa. God, Craig, you have got to come with me. You and Whitney, man, because Whitney really, really, really I'm wants to go to my SEC game. Right? I'm not going. <laughs> I will. That's that's, yeah. that's that's probably smart, but, uh, but um, you should come. It's so fun. Nick, was yours Mac and Bob's? Of course. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So good. Mac good and Bob's. Night. What's that? Oh, Christopher. So my little brother, you know, and Nick went to college together and I visited Where? them a couple times and they only, like, they had a couple bars and like some you, like, I'm pretty There's sure. a lot more now. The year I graduated, of course, like the next year, like five bars went up on that little street right there. Did you just say where, Austin? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. For where people did... listening and Austin, uh, Nick and my brother went to Roanoke College in Virginia. How in the Lord's name is I supposed to know that? <laughs> Roanoke. Because Nick is on our podcast. I know, but Nick is always talking about charlottesville 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 where i live and then sometimes he just throws out this hail mary of freaking iowa as if we're all supposed to know that he's just I like i will say that the iowa hard iowa fan yeah. i do get dms going why the hell are you an iowa fan and i'm like we got listeners in iowa city though i get dms from people all the time i mean we, we love the freaking we love great, all our besties, but yeah. I okay 
Okay, well, I'm glad that you say that because uh, a bar on my list I'm interested, it's called Deadwood Tavern in Iowa City, Iowa. They say it's the best college never bar been to in Iowa. Iowa City. Well, really? I haven't been, you I'm know, when I can drink. I am I am telling this to our fans in the hopes that someone out there is going to be like, yes, or they're going to write uh, in and be like, uh, no, 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 absolutely not. It's, you know, gnarly jacks in Iowa City. That's where you have to go. So Deadwood well, Tavern. Not, but that's so awesome. When I went to that college bar in Columbus, Ohio, I forget what it's called, or like, when me and you went to RJ's or Arby's in Burlington, like <laughs> other people are going to be like, I can't believe you went there. Like you did what? Like there's so many better restaurants and you're like, it was exactly what we wanted to do. It's and exact. Perfect. Whoever told us to go there understood the assignment. We wanted to post up at the corner of the bar and just not have to do anything. And we went to RJ's more than a handful of times. I, Craig and I each had our own like separate night there. And I, I had a blast. That's RJ's in I've Burlington, bought. Vermont. That's the only time I've ever bought the bar a drink. Is there? Um, do you remember when I bought the bar a drink at the tea bar in Steamboat, Colorado? Because I rang the bell. I rang the bell twice. In fact. Yeah, I thought production made for it. Well, they did, but Craig, come on. Yeah, dude, but it still this. counts. Give me no, this. but I'm saying like hell yeah, that's a <laughs> the right move to do. Um. Yeah, uh, I am not one for buying the whole bar a shot, but um, I've done it a couple times, and it's a blast. And at RJ's, first off, I I told Craig because because it was one of those days where Craig you know, was feeling kind of down because we had a big night the night before, but the next day I just kind of rode that lightning, and I was like, I'm going to RJ's to watch sports and do this. And Craig was like, I'm not leaving the freaking like hotel. And I went and I bought the whole bar around a shots and stuff. And and Craig was so jealous that we had to go back so that Craig could buy the whole bar around his shots. Yeah, I was like, Craig could be the man of the hour. <clears throat> um, no, I, I don't mean that it doesn't seem like you, but if production's yeah. pending, I'm going to be like, wait, maybe we just start buying the bars shots when we're filming. But um, that's actually true, Craig. Let's uh, keep that in mind. And if we feel the bar I beginning to turn it. on us, I did it. Like in- we get on a chair and be like, next round of shots on me. Right. I- and then, they might but I did it on our trip last year, except I just paid for it myself. Remember, I just left the table during filming. I was like, I'm done with these people. I'm going to go hang with all the old uh, guys at the bar. And yes, I bought everyone shots. Yes, you a did. A couple times. Yeah, I, I remember that. You were to, or, uh, Jaeger. You were Jaeger bent that night. And then you and I got in a fight. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. Okay. Um, well, let's do let's a quick- see quick commercial and okay. then uh we will be right back all right guys welcome back to this episode of pillows and beer um i do want to just like run run through this craig because people might reach out and be like oh my god i love that place okay <clears throat> growler U in eugene oregon town pump fort collins deadwood tavern iowa city iowa mario's fishbowl west virginia Ooh. the midnight i bet mario's Bill, florida wild. i bet mario's fishbowl it sounds like an absolute blast i think i've been to midnight but i can't say for okay me. yeah midnight in uh university of florida oh bannon's tap house texas a&m uh um uh, ken's tavern fsu hmm see i feel like a lot of people Mountain Sun, Boulder, Colorado. There are so many fun bars in Boulder. Uh, Dark Horse was one of my favorites, as well as the Sundowner. I've been to Dark Horse. Or the Scum Downer. Really? Yeah. Um, Kilroy's. Kilroy's and Sports in Bloomington, Indiana. Craig, I took a fun-ass trip there my senior year of college because my buddy's buddy went went there it did not disappoint i mean this is like college bar like central i mean this 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 bar is like every kid that went to iu knows about sports and kilroy's um let's see college i've done college club at university of wisconsin god dude the kk i've had some wild ass times at the kk and I was like 24, right? I didn't go to college, but I acted like I was in college a bunch and went to the KK. And it is just a quintessential college bar. Goodness. 
uh, Sideways, Fayetteville, Arkansas, the Baxter. I don't even know that. Slinkies in Baton Rouge. Okay. Uh, the Wig. I've been to the Wig, but people would argue probably that Pavlov's in Columbia, South Carolina is the spot. Ashley's in Ann Arbor. Half Barrel at University of Tennessee. Uh, I mean, it like makes me want to go to all, all of these yeah, bars. Yeah, college bar tour. I mean, 100%, Greg, I want to do a you college bar tour. Like you think we'd still like them? I know. I absolutely do, Craig. I'm such a sucker for like random deals and specials, right? So yeah, like I'm such a yeah, sucker for of that kind of stuff. Burlington. Like they do like buy five, get five jello shots. And like, <laughs> or we can just buy the jello shots also. Yeah, it's not even like a deal. Jello? I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, Craig, what if you buy 25 and like you get one for free? How can you not do that? I like, um, like the boot I've been to in New Orleans, all of the Baltimore college bars I've been to it. Just can't think of the names, but I've been tossed. Okay, I went to maybe this, maybe this I, like, list is kind of if I was flirting with a girl, I would knock her drink out of her hand. That was a terrible phase. It only lasted a little bit. I mean, Jordan's the- Jordan's Big Ten pub in Madison. No, I bet people would argue that it's the KK all day long. Anyways, um, yeah. I just like want to want to hear what people have to say about this man because I had a list of fifty, but I just kind of like went went down it, and and now I'm like not really sure if I trust this list. Didn't even have any. Bama bars on there. I guess it's hogwash. All right. Well, have you been to a college bar in Alabama? Maybe Austin's story. He's like starting to doubt its existence. He's like, wait, <laughs> wait, was that <laughs> not as cool as I thought the bar was? Or no, it definitely is, and <laughs> and and people will corroborate my story. I I have no doubt. I don't have to impress you, people. Nick, do you have any questions for us this week? Nothing very good, but I do want to make an announcement that we're going to put out. Craig's been riding my ass about this for probably a year now, and we finally have something where you f- listeners can submit a video of you guys asking a question to us. Okay. So, and where do you do that? Craig's so that'll be it'll be this for it'll so be in long. Our, it, it'll be in our you know what what what's it called the uh, link in the bio on instagram on our page i'll put on our website and everything it's called cam flare you can download the app and you can take a 30 second video whether it's a question comment a scenario like you all like to write in about and submit a video yourself you can do audio if you don't want to be seen and just upload it and it'll come to a library and we'll be able to see everything that you guys share with us it's called cam flare we'll put it on our instagram tomorrow when this episode releases and then we will have it so Craig can finally see you. And you, it won't just be me on, you know, 8,000 video files asking the questions like they seem <laughs> to think it is. Yeah. Also do that. It's going to be amazing. But, okay, this is the last segment. But the questions are great and we're going to answer them. But I see on Austin's notes some things that apply to me. Um, <laughs> some just make me laugh. And I want to pick his brain, but we can do that next week. You do have PS5 or Xbox One that you're buying one. I just ordered a PS5, so that's the direction I'm you going. PS5 is right there. Yeah. Oh, really? You yeah. did. You guys, Paige's brother has the Xbox, and my fingers don't fit on the controller as well as it does PlayStation, and I couldn't throw grenades in Call of Duty, and Nick's probably like, that's not the right reason to pick a system, but that's basically... Hey, no, like- that's actually... The controller is a very big thing when it comes to picking a system. Yeah, and I'm a PlayStation guy. I'm a PlayStation controller guy. Just it's, the, it, it's the better controller. It. Look, I think the reason that I wrote this down is I feel like we've talked about this before, Craig. I'm not some serious gamer. I'm really not going to jump on to like, you know, Call of Duty much. But now that we're back in town and there are and like in order to keep me at home, I feel like having a console well, and having j- just like a bunch of games that I want to play. Oh my I God. It. Right, I it right now. Right so now. Awesome. Yeah. And right now we're going to have days that we are alone and we're yeah. like, we have to stay in, but. And like, that's good. Now, right. You know, yeah. that's good. It's like, you know, tonight, like I'm not trying to drink. I might, I might cave and have a glass of red wine, but that's fine. 
And like, I would love to just like throw in some like, I don't know, like Assassin's Creed and just game for like three hours until I go to sleep. Like so that good. is what I want. I know it's so good. And they're coming out with this new freaking Harry Potter legacy game. I man. just pre-ordered it for my PlayStation. So I like, I need to get one of these. It's called Harry Hogwarts Potter. Legacy. It's like yeah. a two year, 200 year prequel to the game. Well, then and, if or not, the movies. that's only on PlayStation. Then also. No, 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 no. It's on both. It's on both. Oh, is it? I thought yeah, it was a PlayStation exclusive. No, it's not. Okay. I, I, I did some research. Um, Xbox One and stuff. And see, I'm not a big gamer, but like I do he like to the play these, these open world games. You won't, and and like, if we do these drunk podcasts and like, Austin, you're going to die when you see the house. It's so like you've sucked it up, which is great. Like you've slept in the guest room right before it was done. Well, I had, I pulled, I finally pulled the trigger on organizers you're going to die and the new furniture came, you're going to be like, I actually don't mind staying over at Greg's house now. And I wanted to have like video game systems and like, we can do whatever we want here. Fine. Well, and the best part is <laughs> if he has an Xbox, we can do whatever we want. With yeah. A lot of games. Now you can do it's cross play, which is right. great. The consoles finally got their shit together. And you can, if you, you have a PlayStation, you can play with your buddy who's got an Xbox. Yeah, that's good. Um, oh, okay. You know, that's good. That's that. That's a good to know, man. But I suck at Call of Duty and things like that. And if I suck at it, then I'm not going to want to play it. It's like I like playing these open world games. Yeah, biggest and Assassin's like, Creed fan. I'm with you. Big Sorry, time. This- and um, you know that show that's about to come out, um, The Last of Us? I think that is a PlayStation yeah, exclusive. It is. I'm just not a zombie it's, guy. It's supposed to be like one, it's of, the one of the greatest games, games ever, ever made. Yeah. And, then, and then they're doing a show about it right which i'm for sure gonna watch and like that right there i'm like you know red dead redemption assassin's creed hogwarts legacy and the last of us like those four games well then you should get a playstation if you want to play the last of us (sighs) right so they've got we've got two questions um actually i'm just gonna start with the what is the best way to ask for nudes from a girl that i'm sleeping with without sounding like super douchey i prefer her over porn and just think it is hot to get them but she has not sent me any yet two things here one i'll just say what came to my gut i'd say what are you wearing and it's funny but like she's either going to text you back what she's wearing or send you a picture and so you start with like what are you wearing and make that sexy and she would just be like and then you can say show me if she's like i'm wearing like red panties you say show me or um you tell her next time you are sleeping together you just be like hey i think it's really hot or i don't know communication see great now people. now i just want to like burst your bubble and i'm sorry but there's no Not way to ask there. but well, no, there's no, like no way I, to I, ask you keep, you keep it with show me what you're wearing and then that will at least guide her down the path. Greg, I feel like much. like that is the most cliche thing of all time. Like, hey, baby, what are you wearing? And it's like, uh, clothes. Yeah, but you if know? she likes you, but if if well, if she wants to do it, then she'll be like, oh, do you want to see? I mean that, but but no, you can't just ask for nudes. Then you're a piece yeah. Of, like I don't. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't think that you're a piece of shit. I just think that that. Like, there's no way to do it without coming across like, oh, man, this motherfucker just asked me for nudes. Yeah, but what if you're I, also I don't think you should be sending sexual pictures if you're not hooking up. Like he did say they're already like sleeping together, but a lot of people you need to be in a relationship to do that. So what? Yeah. I don't know. I think you just I know. I don't know either. Naked and hooking up. You could probably be like, hey, do you think we started a date? <laughs> I don't know what you would say. Yeah. See, I had an answer. that is a I tough know. one. I don't, I don't. I mean, I've definitely asked for nudes, but I don't. Yeah. I, I mean, especially if I'm seeing like, I feel like once you're seeing someone and you're sleeping together, and then they just like naturally will send you a nude. It's an usually natural progression. It well, is in yes, <laughs> it usually is a natural progression. And and the girls do have all of the power in this world. Yes, uh, definitely. Things. And so this says like I have recently started dating a guy who is really shy about making the first move. How do I let him know that I want to have sex? And it's funny because I, this is I was I was this guy, and 
it used to drive Austin crazy when him and I would go home together. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, like, where is Greg going? <laughs> I, I am the, I am the shy guy. And so I want to hear what Austin thinks, but you know, I, I, because I, as a shy guy, I need to now figure out how I'm going to answer this, but what do you think? That was a good, that was a good one, Craig. That, that, that made me laugh. I was like, wait a minute. That's not normally Craig's, <laughs> you know, sort of humor. I don't think that Craig is going there. Oh, he did go there. Nice job, Craig. Um, hey, I'm getting funnier. So maybe you two are. I mean, yeah, maybe Paige and I are rubbing I'm off on you. myself so seriously. Yeah. I mean, that cracks me up that you just said that. Um, Gosh, God, let me tell you, if, 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 if there's something that I like, don't, as, as Craig just said, if it like a timid girl, like that would eventually drive me nuts. Like I, you know, maybe not the first night, you know, you don't just grab like a handful and you're like, let's go. This is the girl asking. Right. 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 And, and I'm saying that like me, I would be like, Oh shit. Like, if she just like grabbed me and went for it, I, I I mean, that's me though. I'd be all in. I'd be like, yes, yes, do it. Um, think, a shy yeah. girl would, would, I mean, it would, it would drive me nuts. Right. If it's like, well, do you want to, do you not? I'm like, yeah, of course I want to. Like we've been <laughs> seeing each other for the past month. I've been wanting to for the past month. Like, yes. Well, I, think over Austin, here. I think Austin, your point is, he wants to like if he's with you in these situations like he wants to he's just shy well, she's asking well, what to do i would i would recommend this when you're kissing get on like lay him back and get on top of him with your clothes on but like get on top of him like if you were like sexually riding him and just kiss him and then like yes then there's no like there's not much more you like it's not your fault <laughs> like it's never your fault but like if you're on top of him and you're making out with him like you the he's got to take the hit at some point you know like without having to physically you and i you and i suck at these topics tonight i'm i mean because it's tough right i just feel like 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 be a doer i mean if you're dating this guy then you have to know and think about like i like you want to know if this man wants to sleep with you or not so like you, you you've got to shoot well, maybe, your shot you maybe shoot the your shot is, and i think austin's answer would be in no world is he going to stop you or push you away like yes you just said it he's shy so like he is hoping everything in his mind that you're going to take the reins and it sounds like the person asking this question has no problem taking the reins they're just like what's the right way to do it i say you just take the reins and do it and you're gonna break that wall of like shyness and probably have a great relationship in time after shooters got to shoot so shoot like, yeah she's the shooter she got to shoot well hey it was fun guys and uh i think that's it for this year i think not this year this this week i think austin's gonna have a real fun guest lined up for next week which we will actually announce on social media as soon as we get confirmation of a date and time um yeah. Nick's gonna that'll play- be a fun one that'll be a fun one to be Nick's honest, we put out some videos of this podcast on our YouTube channel. Nick, what is our YouTube channel? Pills and beer. It's you find the link in the bio on Instagram or on our website. Follow us on YouTube because we're about to start doing full videos. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. He would, It'll be right here. You'd be amazed at how many things are spilled and how many times you will laugh uh, yeah. getting to watch. push the bell icon too. That'll be over here somewhere. And that's <laughs> that's kind of why it's funny, right? Because the things that you see and the things that you watch us do is like the manner. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you'll finally, see some Craig, fun stuff. Finally. This will be our, this will be our, this is our test episode. So if you made it all the way through, I appreciate it. And what's the link to oh, send your, your video voicemail. So you want to download cam flare and there will be a link in the bio on Instagram and I'll have Jack put it on our website and as well. Totally free. It is free. You just, you click on it. I did a test one today. You can upload a 30 second video and that, and you can ask a question, tell us a scenario, whatever. And, and just say part one, if it goes past 30 seconds. Then and I will just want to put it out there. If you send us a video, it may make it on our YouTube page. So just so you know that or you yeah. can, otherwise you can do audio or write us in if you don't want to be seen on YouTube. Yep. And write us in at what? 
What's the oh the boys at pillsandbeer.com. There you go. All right, guys. Well, that's that's all I've got for this week. Austin, Nick, anything from y'all? That's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you all next week.